Good day my friends and welcome back for another video. I'm Jan Kioska 6 Delta X-ray Echo and in the today's video we're going to talk about my finish to BFO project which is a bit frequency oscillator. Uh, we're going to use this one together with an older AM radio receiver capable of receiving amateur radio bands and this bit frequency oscillator will allow us to listen to uh, CW and SSB signals which most of the older AM radio receivers are not capable of. Now the receiver should have the high frequency of 455 kHz which used to be a standard in the older radio receivers just because our um, oscillator over here it resonates on 455 kHz. Of course the frequency is slightly adjustable uh, to our own preferences but uh, yeah we'll talk about this a little bit later in the video. Unfortunately, I don't have the receiver to make your demonstration on how to use this one, but I, I can explain very, very easy because it's, it's really easy to use. So what is the BFO? I presented this one in a project, I believe nine or 10 months ago on a breadboard. I was testing to see if it, uh, if it works. Then I designed the PCB board and thanks to my friends from PCB way, I finally received my order and I'm uh, getting the chance to uh, build my finished projects for everything that I've been working on for the past two three years and um, this is just a simple culpit oscillator resonating on 455 kilohertz uh, with the help of this uh, ceramic resonator why 455 kilohertz that's the IF frequency of the older um, uh, analog m uh, broadcast band receivers and if they can receive am um, uh, sorry um, amateur radio bands then uh, it will allow you to listen to ssb and cw signals uh, together with this bfo we also have this variable capacitor though it will allow you to adjust the frequency slightly a little bit under 455 kilohertz and a little bit above just so you can fine tune uh, the way you hear the cw signals or the ssb and talking about PCB Way, here I have a bunch of uh, PCB boards that I just received from PCB Way that I can finally finish all my projects that I worked on uh, lately. And uh, they have great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing, and a lot more services available for you. I cannot stress you enough about the good quality of the PCB boards, and that's the reason why I've been sticking with PCB Way for such a long time and uh, i cannot thank them enough for always sponsoring and supporting the dx explorer channel don't forget they have a lot of christmas sales right now and uh, special offers so take advantage of those go on the pcb way uh, website and um, have a look at the offers that they have for you with a bunch of discounts you have a lot of coupons and uh, yeah this is the holiday season that you have to take advantage of if you don't have an account for pcb way have a look in the video description you'll have a link that you can register and you'll get a discount on your first order as i'm always saying pcb way is the way now, uh, even if I don't have um, an M broadcast band receiver to demonstrate, I'm going to explain to you uh, the easy way to use it. And uh, towards the end of the video, I'm also going to show you how the SSB signals sound when you're listening in the M mode. Um, sadly, the receiver that I have, it has a DSP chip, so there's no high frequency involved over there. Everything is done inside the chip. So I cannot use this BFO with the receiver that I have. Um, but here's the idea. You have this antenna, which uh, it, it could be a, a little bit longer, even though I think even this one will do. Um, I, what I will try to do, uh, just in case you, you want to build something similar like me, right now it's soldered to the pin on the board but i will do uh, an antenna that it's uh, it, it will allow me to plug this wire in and out uh, just so when i'm storing the uh, bfo uh, i don't have this wire dangling around i get to you know store it inside somehow i just make like a little coil and place it in here uh, so you'll place this one close to your m broadcast band receiver you're going to tune let's say somewhere on the ssb portion of the band on um, on the 40 meters band for example the amateur radio band you hear some signals and i'll show you towards the end of the video how they sound 
you turn on your BFO, you place this antenna wire really close to your receiver and then you start playing around with the variable capacitor. Uh, basically you, you have to tune the oscillator on exactly 455 kilohertz. And that is when you're going to actually hear the um, signals uh, as they should sound. So basically you will be able to understand the, the, the voices and uh, you can make little adjustments, you know, you get to hear the voice a little bit brighter or maybe uh, to a little bit lower, depends how you want to, to get it to resonate. But uh, just minor adjustments, you don't have to do a big adjustments once you, you uh, tuned it on 455 kilohertz exactly. So um, yeah, you have the schematic on the screen. Uh, remember, it's really easy to build. There's nothing fancy. Um, the only thing that I didn't place uh, on this PCB board and I didn't use in the schematic, it was a voltage regulator. Uh, if you build it from scratch, probably you could add one of those, uh, but uh, the battery and the, co the power consumption of this one, it's so tiny uh, that the battery should last you a very long time. And uh, honestly, I didn't have um, any issues with the frequency stability uh, to use um, a voltage regulator. Plus that uh, my idea was to use as little uh, parts as possible. and. Uh, maybe most of them to be recovered actually most of the components that, yeah, that i used here in this uh, bf4 are, are actually uh, recovered except the, uh, the ceramic resonator which i had to order so um, yeah let's measure the the frequency output of this one and see if we can tune it on 455 kilohertz and also to see how stable it is in frequency um, I'm not going to talk about this uh, now, but I already spoke about this in the in the older video. This is a modified uh, frequency counter. It's not like uh, the kit comes. Um, I actually modified the uh, crystal oscillator in, and transformed it into a preamplifier. So um, yeah, uh, you'll find details in the blog article. I'll, I'll post the blog article this weekend on the on the BFO, and you'll have a, a lot of details over there if you want to modify this um, frequency counter. So uh, what I did, I connected the antenna to the input of the frequency counter and the ground uh, to the ground of the BFO. And right now I'm going to turn on the BFO. There we go. We have 455.54 and with a little bit of adjustment from the uh, variable capacitor, we can tune it to exactly 455 kilohertz. But as you can tell, it's it's pretty stable in frequency, and that's the reason why I was saying that um, I didn't need um, a voltage uh, regulator. And uh, yeah, I, I try to keep uh, parts uh, count to a minimum. And uh, yeah, if it will change the the frequency, uh, the frequency counter will light up again. But we're not looking for extreme performance over here. It's just for hobby purposes uh, that it will allow you to listen to SSB and CW signals on a simple receiver. We're not doing any contesting or stuff like that. So it works. Now uh, let's listen really quick to the receiver and uh, show you how the uh, SSB signals sound in the AM mode as you will receive them on a, um, an AM broadcast band receiver without the BFO. So it sounds something like this. You hear something, but of course the, the signal is not properly demodulated. So I'm again with the receiver on uh, the upper side band and I'm listening to a CW signal. This is probably something similar that you will hear with the BFO uh, turned on close to, to your receiver. And this is the sound that you hear without the BFO.
And this, my friends, is the sound of my childhood because this is how I used to spend nights and nights over and over again listen to CW signals on the AM broadcast band receiver because I didn't have the BFO. Once you turn on your BFO, this is the way it will sound. Yeah, so I think you get the idea. So again, I can't believe that I don't have uh, an older M broadcast band receiver that I can test this thing with. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll definitely either uh, somehow acquire one and uh, test it uh, to see to see how it works. And uh, if not, then I'll just build a simple um, a simple receiver, a heterodyne receiver with 455 kilohertz IF frequency. So I can test this BFO, but uh, anyway, you get the idea. It's pretty simple to build. It's, it, it only requires you a couple of components and yeah, uh, I didn't want to put it in an enclosure just because I wanted to give this vintage style look. So it turned out really nice. I'm really happy and uh, yeah. Well, that's it about the today's project. Um, I hope you like it and um, yeah, don't forget about the blog. I'm posting articles continuously right now. I'm trying to post uh, back the older articles and then I'm posting new ones as well. I have PCB board designs. Uh, you can either build them, uh, all these projects, Manhattan style. Uh, you can, you have project files that you can download and most of the time you have um, uh, a PDF file where you can uh, print stuff and uh, you can build the PCB board using the toner transfer method or the easiest one, the one that I like the most, it's ordering the, the PCB boards from PCB Way. And I'm not saying this just because um, they're sponsoring the, the videos and uh, that I get uh, good quality PCB boards from them. But as you can tell, when, when I'm building a project, I'd like to build something that would, it will last me a long time and with the Manhattan style, which I absolutely love, to be honest, uh, just because it's so pretty, it looks like little cities. Um, sadly, the copper boards in time, they corrode and they corrode in a very ugly way. And um, yeah, it's not something that it will last a very long time. So that's the reason why I prefer the PCB boards uh, <laughs> from my friends at PCB Way. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope it's uh, helpful. And uh, yeah, let me know if you built one and uh, if you have any stories from your childhood when you built BFOs and listen to SSB and CW signals, drop them down in the comments because I love old school stories. 73, I have an amazing rest of the week from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo. <laughs>